allergy symptoms occur when your body overreacts to harmless particles in the air, these allergens. They're tiny particles, they can come from plants or trees, they can come from grasses or animals, and when they get in your system, your body simply overreacts. These protector cells, these immune cells, when they encounter these allergens, they start creating these chemicals like histamine, and the histamine chemicals are what cause you to feel bad. Sometimes it can be just with a scratchy nose, a sore throat, earache. Sometimes you can just feel bad all over. This is usually a difference than, different from a cold. A cold or a bacteria um, invades your body, causes fever, and makes you feel bad. Whereas with allergies, it's usually just kind of sneezing, itching, cough. These, these allergens, they get in the air and they float through the air and they end up inside your nose. And when they do, you can see these small allergens attaching to the outside of these protector cells. Well, when they do that, there's all that, that purple stuff. That's the histamine chemicals that make you feel so bad. This histamine can cause the tissue, the blood vessels, the skin to swell and it happens almost immediately. You start having congestion, itchy eyes, nasal, nasal swelling, and sometimes cough. The second wave is when the next level of protector cells start to create their chemicals, and these inflammatory chemicals, they cause swelling and congestion and make you feel bad. So a couple of different things that you can do. First off, find out what you're allergic to. Sometimes you have to get testing from your doctor. Sometimes you can tell just by what the time of year that you have a lot of symptoms. Avoid the things that you're allergic to. If you know that certain pets or certain pollens make you allergic, then steer clear of those. If you have to be around them, if you have to go outside and do some gardening or yard work, right as soon as you come in, don't wait till the end of the day, right as soon as you come in, use some of the normal saline, the saltwater nose spray, and wash out, irrigate out the filters. You've got filters in your nose. Once you come in from the outside, use that saline spray. Two sprays in each nostril and blow your nose. If this doesn't work, if avoiding in the saline doesn't work, then antihistamines are very effective. But you want to use them before you encounter the pollen. You want to, before that histamine is squirted out, so taking an antihistamine like Claritin, the, the Loratadine is the generic version of that the day before you're going to encounter the pollen. The older antihistamines like Benadryl can make you sleepy, but the newer antihistamines like Claritin, Loratadine, Zyrtec, um, Allegra, they don't make you as sleepy. If antihistamines don't work, then nasal corticosteroids. They're really the most effective, most potent way to protect yourself from allergy symptoms. You, you spray them, uh, again, before you encounter the allergen. That's the best way to do it. Some people don't like the way it feels ripping down the back of their throat. So let, putting your head flat and spraying the, the, the medicine in and then tilting your head down at a 45 to the ground can make that medicine really saturate the upper part of your nasal passages and prevent that drippy in the back of your throat feeling. If all this is not working, then allergy shots can be very helpful. And basically with allergy shots, you're giving yourself small amounts through a weekly shot, small amounts of these allergens so that your body doesn't overreact to, to them. This is how local honey is uh, thought to work. The bees go out and they collect all this pollen and put it in, their, in your honey. And if you do a quarter to half of a teaspoon of local honey each day, then you're not going to overreact to the allergens when your nasal passages encounter them. So try to avoid the things that you're allergic to, use the normal saline to clear out your nose, antihistamines are very effective, the nasal sprays, the corticosteroid na nasal sprays, you do need a prescription for those, uh, they're safe in children and they're very effective, and then think about the allergy shots. That's a minute for health.